Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I personally wrestled with with regard to the faith, and today we'll look at verses touching on whether heaven provides for the basic needs of the saints. The basic needs, remember, are food, drink, clothing, shelter, and protection. So, do any Bible verses imply that these things won't be obtainable in heaven? And when he had commanded the multitudes to sit down upon the grass, he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and brake, and gave the loaves to his disciples, and the disciples to the multitudes. And they did all eat, and were filled. And they took up what remained, twelve full baskets of fragments. Matthew fourteen nineteen to 20 If Jesus can fill people on earth, he can surely do the same in heaven. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but what cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. Matthew fifteen eleven, Food isn't evil, and we don't fast in this life because we believe the food is evil, but because we seek an even greater good than food through making temporary sacrifices. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that which endureth unto life everlasting, which the Son of Man will give you. For him hath God the Father sealed. John six twenty seven. This should be taken almost entirely literally. There is meat that perishes and meat that doesn't perish, the food of heaven. But what is the food of heaven really made of? And they said therefore unto him, Lord, give us always this bread. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall not hunger, and he that believeth in me shall never thirst. John 6, 34-35 just as the Eucharist is Jesus, but is nourishing like bread, so all the good things of heaven are really God, who is goodness himself, and yet God in heaven fulfills all the same needs that the good things on earth fulfill, and more besides. But what went you out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Behold, they that are clothed in soft garments are in the houses of kings. Matthew eleven eight. In this verse, Jesus is comparing the clothing of John the Baptist to that of a king to remind people of the deeper significance of John's work, which isn't obvious by the way he's dressed. But this isn't a statement about the afterlife. Even if it were, heaven can be seen as the house of the greatest of all kings, and therefore the people there would wear softer garments than anywhere else. In my father's house there are many mansions. If not, I would have told you, because I go to prepare a place for you. John fourteen two, Jesus overtly says that God can provide for us not only a place to live, but a place of magnificent splendor and excess, which is what a mansion is. And Jesus said to him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Matthew eight twenty. What Jesus means here is that in his earthly mission he can't rest. Obviously, he does have a home in heaven, where he says there are many mansions. Now, this is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all that he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again in the last day. John six thirty nine. Jesus loses nothing because every good thing comes from him as its ultimate source, including the fulfillment of basic and less than basic needs. Next, will heaven contain closeness and intimacy? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.